Good morning. My name is Sharap Jean, and today I'm here to share another yoga practice. And today we'll be doing a cross mat. It's a practice that we use in universal yoga. I'm a universal yoga teacher. And we'll be doing a vinyasa dynamic strengthening practice. So if you've looked at the past videos, it's more for one strengthening and more for passive stretching exercise. But today we'll try to strengthen the bodies in different ways, different parts of the muscle groups. And it's also a good way to trap the attention by um, working the muscles and paying attention to the sensations of the muscles during and after the practice. Um, so without further ado, I would like to invite you to fold your palms together. Close your eyes. Set an intention for today's class. Connect with your breath. Allowing your mind to settle. Stay grounded. Feel the touch between your legs and the mat. Good. Releasing your hands by your side. From here, we're going to come up to tabletop to just quickly warm up the body. Separate your fingers wide. Push down into the knuckles. Knees hip width apart. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last time. And back. Good. From here, we bring the fingers to the sides, moving from side to side, working on the wrists, opening up the wrists to avoid any injuries during the practice. Turning the fingers, facing your knees, forward and back. Four, three, two, one. Good. From here, turn back and loop the palms facing up and try to straighten your elbows. If not, you may bend the elbows gently. Good. Slowly sit back on your heels, hands to the sides. Inhale, rotating the shoulders to the back and exhale. Rounding the back, internal rotation of the shoulders. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last one, hands forward. Inhale, opening the fingers fast and wide, regular breathing, warming up the forearms. Try to spread the fingers wide as much as you can and as fast as you can go. Release your hands by the sides, shaking any tension out. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. From here, step or jump back, the plank. So I just want to introduce you to the vinyasa belly down that we use in universal yoga. We will usually do double chaturanga, but if you're a beginner, then you may skip the double chaturanga. In fact, you may also bring the knees down first. Inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale. From here, if you can, you can do double chaturanga with the knees down or up, or move straight to downward facing dog. Okay? And we also have other vinyasas like vinyasa side down, vinyasa left side down, lift the right arm up, bring it over your head. Inhale, lift the pelvis up. Exhale, pelvis down, inhale up, other side, 
Inhale, left arm up, pushing the pelvis up. Exhale, inhale up. Good. Come back. And the last vinyasa, vinyasa, belly up. Good. Jump forward, separate your feet, keep width apart. Hands behind the buttocks, fingers facing forward. Inhale, lifting the buttocks up the table. Exhale, pull your buttocks to the back, flex your feet. Good. Inhale up, release. So we might add some of these vinyasas in between the practice. And feel free to take any variations that suit your practice and your body. Good, from here we come up to a stand. Inhale, palms in front of your chest. Good, from here, hands by your side. We start with some warm up. Separate your feet hip width apart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pushing the palms facing up and to the back. Ground your feet, gaze forward. From here, release your hands to the back behind your buttocks or your waist. Ground yourself. Legs are strong. Inhale and exhale. Gentle backward bend. Inhale, come back up. Good. Lift your arms up, feet together. Right hand Mushti Mudra, left hand pulling the wrist up. Actually moving from the core, bringing your fist to the left side. Inhale, come back up. Switch, left hand Mushti Mudra, right hand pulling the fist. Exhale, over to the right side. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, separate the feet, keep it apart. And forward fold. Options, you can bring your palms underneath your feet if you're flexible. If not, just stay wherever you are. And try to straighten the knees and bring your head down. Good. Release your hands. From here, bend your knees, plant your hands, vinyasa belly down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, if you can, double chaturanga. Hold, inhale, and exhale, and downward facing dog. Inhale, forward. We'll do each side, vinyasas left side and right side down so we move over to the left first lift the right arm up exhale down inhale good other side inhale exhale inhale lift the pelvis up left hand down from here bend the knees jump the legs forward vinyasa belly up inhale Lift the belly up, exhale, pulling it back, inhale up, exhale, release, good, cross the legs, come back, downward facing dog. From here, bend the knees, look to between your palms, jump the legs wide, good, and step on the transversal mat, slowly come up, from here, we turn to the left, good, open in the left leg, the left foot to the side. And from here, lift the right heel up so that both feet are parallel facing forward. Square off the pelvis, tuck the tailbone in, arms in Mushti Mudra by the side, warrior lunge. So you wanna pull the left hip to the back and the right buttocks forward to square off the hips. Tuck the tailbone, lift the bat quadricep and the right knee. Both hands in Mushti Mudra, thumbs inside the fist, pulling to the back, front knee 90 degrees. From here, slowly bend 
the right knee and come up inhale we go down exhale two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve good turn back to the center over to the right side same thing mirror reflection on the other side pull the right hip to the back left buttocks forward tuck the tailbone engage the core front knee bend at 90 degrees back knees lifted arms mushti mudra by the side inhale down exhale up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve good from here turn back to the front of the mat exhale take one vinyasa if you like belly down inhale exhale down inhale up cobra exhale chaturanga and back to downward facing dog good from here bend the knees jump the legs wide both feet facing forward inhale come up to a stand good this time we're gonna squat over to the left come down to parallel so bring the left thigh if possible parallel to the ground and you lift up so this is one hands can be forward relax two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one thing that one i want you to notice is that when you bend your knees try to bring the knee towards the direction of your toes so you don't want to torque your knee in or out because that's going to cause injury in the long run okay so when you go down the knees are falling the direction of the toes and come up one two three four five six seven eight inhale down exhale up nine ten eleven twelve inhale and exhale for full jump back vinyasa We meet at downward facing dog. Good. From here, bend the knees, jump the legs wide. Okay. From here, we come up to horse stance. Okay. From here, you can have your palms in stupa or same thing, relax and forward. So if you're in stupa, from here, inhale, we go down, exhale, we push up. Okay knees again are facing the direction of your toes either in or out okay inhale down exhale two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, good, exhale, hands down, jump back, vinyasa.
good. From here, look in between your palms, jump the legs forward to the center of the mat, feet together, inhale, lift up, cross the fingers, push up, lift the heels up. Okay, from here, release your arms to the side, Mushti Mudra, to the back. Now we're going to work on the calves. Inhale slowly, down and exhale, lift the heels up, two, three, four, look at one point in front of you, five, six, seven, find balance, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Good. From here, inhale, lift the arms up and lift the heels up. Exhale, hands down. Slowly bend the knees as we come down to a squat. Heels are still lifted. Find the balance. Inhale, exhale, slowly lift up. We'll just do this three times. I know it's challenging. Down and up, down and up. Okay, good. Separate your feet, hip width apart. Inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, vinyasa, belly down. We meet in downward facing dog. Good, from here we're gonna move on to strengthening the glutes. So we come forward to plank, bring the knees down. Okay, from here, Palms are shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart. Okay, you can flatten off the feet here or tuck the toes, it's up to you. And from here, we're gonna start off with the left side. So straightening the left leg to the back and still the same thing, you wanna square off the hips here, engage the core, good. From here, you can either point the toes or flex the left foot. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, good, release the left leg. Move on to the right, extend the right leg to the back, square off the hips, push evenly down into the arms, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, lower down both knees. From here, if you need a rest, you can take a quick child's pose. If not, you can join me in downward facing dog. Pedal off the feet. One more strengthening for the side of the glutes, which you might find it a little bit more difficult because it's a muscle group that we rarely use, I would say. You can bring the knees down into a tabletop. Okay, from here, bring the left leg to the left side. Your left heel is on the same line as your right knee. Good, engage into your core, into your arms. You want good scapula 
back uh, muscles engage from here you want to keep the left foot pointing forward inhale and exhale lift up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve good go way right down bring it back other side right foot to the right side heel in line with your left knee press evenly into the arms engage the core inhale exhale lift it up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve good return the knees option take a child's pose or downward facing dog Good, from here, bend the knees, you can jump the legs together, sit cross-legged, hands on your knees, close your eyes, and just become aware of your legs. So you might feel more energy in the legs than the other parts of the body because we've just worked out the legs. Okay, good, open your eyes, from now we're going to continue to work on the posterior chain of the body so posterior chains are the muscle groups on the back of our body from the hamstrings up to the erectospinae up to the upper back um, all the muscles beside your spine inhale lift your arms up exhale vinyasa belly down inhale cobra exhale double chaturanga if you can and exhale downward dog inhale forward exhale come down okay good from here you can cross your hands underneath your forehead good we we'll start with bending the knees flex the foot so i want you to squeeze your hamstring here inhale down almost touching the floor exhale up three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if this is difficult for you, continue on with this. If not, I would give you the option to push yourself up. You can bring first your right knee forward into a half pigeon so if you're really flexible you can have your um, right foot in line with your right knee and bring the buttocks down but still your left knee is facing down and pelvis is squared okay but if not you can also bring the right foot in okay also you can put a blanket underneath your right buttocks and this might make it easier for you okay hands by the side or you can come down okay and from here flex the left foot inhale and exhale lift up one two three four five six seven eight 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hold, squeeze your hamstring tight on the left side and slowly release. 15 times. Other side. Good. Bring the left knee forward this time. Okay. Same, you can have it here. If you can open your left hip. If not, you can bring this in slightly. Try to square off the pelvis. Same if you feel really tight on your lower back, then you can also bring the arms down, rest here, flex the right hamstring, pull it in, one, two, but of course if you can, you can come up here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold, squeeze the right hamstring, flex the right foot, squeeze the heart, release. Good. From here, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward, rolling forward, and exhale, come all the way down. Okay. From here, we're going to start off with strengthening the erector spinal muscle in the lower back. Okay. From here, you can have your palms stack again as before. Okay, bend both knees, point both feet up. Lift the knees slightly off the mat. Release it. Relax. Squeeze up. Two. Relax. Exhale. Three. Relax. Four. Relax. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, hold here. So your knees are just slightly off the mat. You squeeze the muscles in the lower back and release. Okay. You can also lift the legs up here. This can also strengthen the muscles here. So we're gonna do this for another 12 times, of course. But if you feel tired at any time, um, in the practice, feel free to take a child's pose or um, Shavasana or just stay here, okay? But if you're not tired, you can move on. Hands option to bring it beside your chest. Good. Inhale, lift the legs high up. And if you want, your chest up as well. Release down. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Hold and release. Yeah, let's take a few deep breaths here before we continue. Good, this time arms to the side. Okay, actually, we do Mushti Mudra, arms inside the fists. Pull your elbows down and up, legs grounded. Okay, feet flat. Inhale up, release. Exhale. Three. So, just a quick point here. Um, when you're lifting the chest up, I will give you the option to either take an inhalation or an exhalation. And this is because 
well, different teachers sometimes teach different ways, but um, a general rule is that when you strengthen, when you use force or energy, when you're trying to contract the muscles, we usually exhale. Um, this is also a traditional practice in um, working out in the gym, but sometimes when we do a backward bend, we also use inhalation because it's easier to come up and down. So I guess it's really up to your own practice. Um, so I'll give you the option to take either inhalation or exhalation when you come up, okay? Hands by the sides, Mushti Mudra, pulling to the back, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, hold and release. One last practice, hands Mushi Mudra by the side, straighten out your arms. Okay, from here, you can have the forehead down or the chin. Inhale and exhale, lift up, just the arms, um, release down, close to the floor. Exhale up, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. For the last eight times, I want you to lift the arms and your chest up together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, release. From here you can probably feel the energetic effect along the spine and the muscles beside the spine. Okay, so before we move on I'm just gonna skip the neck strengthening this time because this is more for beginners class and also um, I just wanna keep the practice within hopefully an hour or an hour and a half, 90 minutes. But um, we're gonna try to work most parts of the um, body muscle groups. And so before we move on to the front part of the core, um, we're gonna work on the arm muscles first, okay? And, but before that, I think, let's just do one more side um, oblique strengthening first before we move on to the arms, and then we move back to the core, the front part of it. Okay, from here we lift the knees up, we take one vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or upper dog, exhale, chaturanga, hold, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Very good, from here, bend the knees, jump the legs wide. Just wanna give you a um, better view of the side. Okay, from here, let's move to the right side this time. Okay, from here, step the right foot to the back. We take three rounds of vinyasa, right side down. Inhale, lift the left arm up, push the pelvis up, exhale, one, inhale, two, inhale, three, good, inhale up, from here bring the left arm down, lay down, by the side, good, from here, right elbow is bended at 90 degrees, left palm is supporting in front of your belly, okay, from here, we're going to stack the left foot on top of the right, flex both feet, inhale, and exhale, lift up, one, two, of course if you feel tired here, you can also straighten the arms down, three, 
but this is less strenuous compared to this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold and release. Good. From here, hands beside your chest, push up, step the right foot forward, turn back to the center of the mat, jump back, vinyasa belly down, inhale, forward to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or bird facing dog, exhale, chaturanga if you can, and back to downward facing dog. Other side, bend the knees, jump the legs wide. This time we turn to the left, 90 degrees. Step the left to meet the right. Vinyasa, left side down. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale. Inhale up. Good, from here, bring the right hand down first. Then the left elbow down. Okay, you can first bring the buttocks down, stack the feet. Okay, left elbow on the ground, supporting yourself or beginner's variation, you can also lay down. And right palm supporting yourself in front, flexible feet. Okay, so you see a line, a straight line from the left elbow to your hip, to your heels. Okay, engage the core, support yourself. Inhale, lift the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, good. From here, we release palms beside the chest, inhale and exhale, lift up, step the left foot between your hands, turn to the right 90 degrees, back to the front of the mat, jump the legs together, inhale forward, exhale, vinyasa, belly down. Inhale up, cobra, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, coming to um, probably the hardest challenge in this sequence. We're gonna do three different rounds of chaturanga. We start off with the traditional chaturanga, which is with the elbows to the back down. We just do this 12 times and then we have the diamond press, so bring the palms together, close, and then we do this 12 times. And the last one is to have your arms white, fingers facing to the side, and as you bend, bring the elbows towards the direction of the fingers, and you push up, okay? So for beginners, you can also have the knees down in tabletop, so knees hip width apart, arms shoulder width apart. Regulars or intermediate and advanced practitioner, plank, knees up, engage scapular muscles. Fingers, so in traditional universal yoga, uh, my teacher, Andre Lapa, recommends that we have our fingers together in whatever um, pose that we go into. The fingers are always together. But of course, there are many teachers out there who also teach having the, the fingers wide. So it's up to you, I would say. But for now, inhale, hold forward and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight,
12. Good. Bring the knees down. Relax your arms for a second. Good. Second type of push up. Palms close together. In the middle, you can have the diamond press or just have the palms close together. Okay, and we want to lean forward so that when we come down, the palms are just in front of the chest. Okay, regulars, knees up. Inhale forward, exhale one, two, inhale down and exhale up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good, push up, knees down, relax your hands, forehead down. Lift up from here. Last one. Palms facing to the sides. Okay. And from here, you can actually have it really white and you know, outside the mat. Lift up the plank. Inhale and exhale. Two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Knees down. Hands relax either on your knees or in any comfortable mudra. Close your eyes. Awareness of the body. Okay, good. Now that we're seated in Vajrasana, we need to bring the arms to the back, lean yourself forward about 45 degrees, hands in Mushti Mudra, thumbs inside the fists. Inhale, we lower down the arms by the side. Exhale, lift it up as high as you can go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. From here, lift the arms up in front of you. Okay, palms facing down. From here, we lower down the arms and lift up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Release arms to the sides. Spine is erected. Straight. Inhale, lift the arms up. First we have it parallel to the floor. Lower it down, inhale, exhale, lift up as high as you can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. 
Good. Release the arms. Good. So there's only one muscle group that we haven't worked on, which is the bicep. And that's actually the way we could work on the bicep. And it's probably the only way we could do it with our body. Usually we, we need a weight um, in order to work on the bicep. But I'll just introduce you really quickly and we'll do 12 times. Okay. So bring the feet hip width apart in front of you. Bring your left elbow to the inside of the left thigh. Place your right foot on your left palm. Okay. So from here, you can have your right hand supporting by the side. Inhale down, exhale, lift up one, two, three, and use your right foot to resist the bicep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Hold here. Feel your bicep burning. If not, you might need extra weight at the end of the practice. Release. Other side. Right elbow to the inside of the right thigh. Place the left foot on your right palm. Left hand support yourself. Spine straight. Inhale down. Exhale. One, two, three. Use your leg to resist. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold here. Squeeze your bicep and release. Sit cross legged, hands on your knees, close your eyes, awareness of the body. Now you should feel more energy along the arms. Relax the body. Okay, good. So for the last part, as promised, we'll move on to the core of the um, body, the front core, or the oblique muscles. And so from here, we'll start with six rounds of vinyasa belly up. Separate your feet, hip width apart. Inhale, lift the pelvis up. Exhale, pull your buttocks to the back, flex your feet. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, up, exhale, bring the buttocks down. Good, from here, lift the chest, turn your palms facing to the back of the mat, lift the sternum up. Straighten your legs in front of you. Good. Okay, so from here, it's actually easier if you have your palms facing forward. Bend the knees. Flex both, um, point both toes. Okay, and then from here, you can straighten. Lower down and up. Down and up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Lift the sternum up and exhale from here. Hands facing forward, slowly come down, lay flat on the floor. Okay. From here we're going to do a few rounds of crunch, cross your hands behind your head. So it's easier to do this, but if you want to increase the intensity, Bend the knees, if up or straighten the legs up. One, two, try not to use your arms to push your head up. Try just to lift from the core up. Three, four, 
Bend the knees, release, arms by the side. Okay. Oh, one last practice, the side obliques. Okay. Straighten the legs up. Good. Inhale, down to the left side. Close to your hands. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale down to the right. Exhale. Inhale to the left. Exhale up. Two. And two to the right. Three to the left. Three to the right. Four to the left. Four to the right. Five to the left. Five to the right. Six to the left. And six to the right. Lift up. Bend the knees. Relax. Okay, so before we move on to Shavasana, I just want to end this practice with one last back bend. So easier variation is just to bend the knees, lift the buttocks up, and down we do this 12 times. So this helps to stretch the obliques a little bit too. And if you can, you can move on to the Narasana, wheels pose. Okay, lift the pelvis up first. From here, you can do dynamic strengthening of the arms too. We're pushing up. Two, three, four, five. Squeeze the inner thigh together. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Or you can also push to the back. One, two, three. Kick the legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Throw this down. Ooh, good job. That was tough. From here, usually we would suggest or recommend that you continue with stretching all of muscle groups. So we will usually move on with stretching for all directions of mobilities. But just because we're short of time here, I'm going to release another video of a full universal yoga passive stretching um, sequence. Or if you do know how to stretch the body, you can start off by stretching the quads, the hamstrings, your back muscles, your arms and also the core and today we also skip um, strengthening for the neck for example up and down in the sides but we might introduce that sometime in the future so now if you're almost done with an hour of practice just bring your legs to the sides arms to the sides So moving to Shavasana. Notice any sensations in the body. You might still feel the heartbeat. Energy might still be strong in the body, in the muscles. But this is the time to let go of any attachment, any tension. 
feel the body as a whole. Feel the touch between your body and the ground. Allow gravity to sink your weight down to the earth. Feel a deep connection with Mother Earth. Feeling oneness with your surroundings. Notice that there's nothing more important than just being right here in the present here and now. To go deeper, you can slowly relax each body part from the feet, feeling the heaviness of your toes, your heels sinking down to the ground, feel the heaviness of your calf muscles, your thighs, your pelvis, your lower back, upper back, feel the heaviness of your organs, Relaxing and sinking down to the back of your spine. Notice your core muscles relaxing. Your chest expanding with every breath. And relaxing with every exhalation. Down to your arms. Feel the heaviness of your arms on both sides. Allow your arms to relax all the way down to your fingertips and relaxing back to your shoulders up to your neck and to your head take a deep inhale in and relax your facial expression a smile on your face, feel the bliss that comes out from deep relaxation, let it go, just feeling and observing whatever that is arising, and relax.
attitude and now when you're ready to come up from Shavasana we'll take a deep inhale in and slowly move your fingers and your toes waking up yourself from this deep relaxation you can move your arms to the sides of your ears to the back bring your feet together cross your fingers and push up giving yourself a gentle stretch from your bend the knees into your chest up the knees rock from side to side up and down forward and back Change your chest and then your last round, come up to a seat. Hands on your knees. Close your eyes. Notice that your spine is straight. Chin is slightly tucked in. Observe the state of your mind. Yoga Chitta Bhikkhi Niroda. The goal of yoga is to see and fluctuations in the mind. Observe the mind and the students. Good. Hold your palms together. Now we're going to end this practice with a dedication. Just use your mind's eye to share the merits or positive energy that we accumulate collectively in today's practice. And we share them with all sentient beings. May all beings be suffering free. And may they all be well and happy. Namaste. So thank you very much for practicing with me today. I highly recommend that you do some stretching after the practice, or if not, you can do this in the morning, and you can do a more ta or yin yoga practice in the evening, and that would really help to balance the, the body, um, both strengthening and stretching, strength and flexibility. And well, so if you can wait, you can practice this in the morning, and we'll try to come up with a yin yoga practice that you can do in the evening or at night before you go to bed. So thank you very much for practicing with me today. Okay, namaste. Loka samastasukino babantu. May all beings be well and happy.